Cameron just showed you how to solve problems based on solutions developed by other people. Now this is a common practice in web development, so let's ask Jacques and see how he approaches problem solving in his everyday work. I've got this broccoli stuffed animal, let's see if we can get his attention. So problem solving on the web is not exactly fun, but when you run into an issue with HTML or CSS, the chances that somebody else has run into that same issue are pretty good, especially when you're starting out. So checking sites like Stack Overflow, uh, searching around on the web for sort of the same type of problem you're experiencing, this doesn't fit over that, why is this shifting down below here, those sorts of things um, will most times yield the answer you're looking for. Uh, one of the great things about the fact that there are so many people doing web development is that those people run into the same types of problems. So go check out Stack Overflow. Go check out the web. You can probably find the answer that you're looking for.